So I definitely got to touch on this. Um, I know you're good for, or you were good friends with Tupac, and uh, you did yeah. the movie with with him, uh, Bullet. And as you probably know, I walked out to every single UFC fight to Tupac, Ambitions of a Rider. Um, we don't share a lot in common, or we didn't share a lot in common, I guess. But uh, he was a big inspiration to me for someone that came up, and and that motivated me in every one of my fights. So. Uh, what was your relationship like with Tupac? And I know you're really close. You were there at the hospital. How was he, man? Because we are two huge fans of Tupac, and and we've never talked to somebody that well, knew let's, him. Let's let's put it this way: Tupac and I are both from the street. Okay. Now we were either going to get along, or it was going to be on. <laughs> and we and we just we just clicked. And uh, I remember one night. Uh, four male models made the mistake uh, at a fashion show. One guy, he was about six foot four, he walked by and he goes like this to me. I looked for the guy for like three fucking months, got his name, everything. One night, Tupac and I are in a club. And some guy named Vinny goes, hey, Mickey, that dude you were looking for is here with three other guys. I was with Tupac and an ex-fighter named Doug DeWitt. So I said, he says, Mickey, don't do it upstairs. I'll bring the kids to the basement. So <laughs> I had just got done fighting in Argentina like two weeks ago. So I was, I was all shredded, ready to go. And it, they bring these three kids downstairs. So I say to the guy, hey, motherfucker, what is this? He goes, what? I go, what is this? He says, what? And I said, you did this to me. He said, I didn't do that to you. I said, listen, motherfucker, you fuck you. You did this to me. <laughs> he goes, I didn't do I said, you did that. And then there was three of them, right? Three guys. Yeah. Next thing I know is one of the guys made like a, when I'm pushing the one kid with my finger, because I said, you don't want to fight? You want to fight me? Fight me right now. Look at the size of you. And he goes, I don't want to fight. I go, I'm not a bully. I'm not going to fight you then. I said, but fuck you. I'm deep burying my finger in him. Next thing I know, Tupac picks up a Don Perignon bottle and hits one of the other guys over the head with it. And it didn't break. It just went clunk. And the guy just went boom. And I'm thinking, fuck, Tupac's the real deal. <laughs> and uh, we just had a really good time together. And, you know, we, had, we used to have talks about, like, you know, we got to get our shit off the street. You can't dance on both sides of the line, you know. And I was down in Miami, and I got a call saying Tupac got shot six times. I flew back to New York. Just as I got to the hospital, his mother was wheeling him out with the doctors, and uh, he, he survived. And then about uh, about six months later, I was... I was in Brazil making a movie. My manager called me up and said, Tupac got shot last night in Las Vegas. And I said, I'm coming home. He says, no, 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 he's going to be okay. Next day, I got a call, and they said he died. Because wow. I said, how many times did he get shot? And he said, once. And I said, oh, only once? Fuck it. He'll be all right. Last time, he got shot six times. But what happened was he tried to dive into the back seat the bullet went through his rib and into his lung, and his, wa his lungs filled up with water, and he, he he died. But he was he was another one that, like, you know, everybody talked about how ghetto he was and this and that. But he could be the he could be the kindest guy in the girl in the in the world. I mean, and he and he was super 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 bright guy. You know, I mean, I remember one time I was in a nightclub and. There was some girl I was I used to be married to and she wouldn't talk to me and and I was like really nervous and Tupac said hold hold on he was holding he was actually holding me up and he went over and bought her a bottle of champagne and talked to her for a few minutes and like you know he just did that out of the kindness of his heart you know uh, she refused the champagne but it was the, it was the the thought that mattered you know. That's awesome. So, you know, I'll, I always have a, you know, very fond, loving memories of him. 
we know how he was in the studio. I mean, obviously he, he worked really hard and he was a freak, but how was he doing films? Like, I mean, did, did he, uh, or how was it, what was it like doing a film with him? I mean, how, how was his work ethic and, and his passion for film? And is that something that he his really work, wanted to pursue for a it, long time? Well, his work ethic was really great. Even though he sit in the trailer and smoke weed all day, you'd see clouds of smoke coming out of the bottom of the trailer, but yet he could still perform. Yeah. The only thing is, we had a scene where he pulls a shotgun on me, and he's supposed to be shooting me. And it's the first time I ever went over every single take and checked the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be safe, huh? <laughs> Just to be safe, yeah. That's funny. But like I said, we were either going to get on or not get on, you know? Yeah, of course. It used to be funny. We used to go out to the clubs at night together, and we'd be crossing the street to go to a club. And you'd already hear the bouncer saying, "They're together. What are we gonna? What are we? What are we supposed to do?" <laughs> and uh, they took good care of us. Um, is there any other yeah. cool? Is there any other cool stories about Tupac that maybe nobody knows that's okay to tell or give us some uh, insight uh, that maybe no one else has? I did take him downtown and introduce him to John Gotti, and he really liked that. You know, <laughs> but that was. Uh, <laughs> That was. Uh, <laughs> what did what did he think of John Gotti? Like, what what was his opinion of of someone like that? Well, that's a long story. I can't get into. But like, uh, I got I got I lost my temper with somebody one time, and I got myself in a situation I couldn't got get out of, and John Gotti uh, backed me up. Yeah. I lost my temper with the wrong person, and uh, got myself in some hot shit. And John came to my rescue, and he he treated me for 15 years like a son. Nice. So Tupac enjoyed that meeting then? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, by that time, neither one of us really should have been, you know, associating in that element, you know, to be honest with you. Right. Gotcha. 